my computer. Okay. So, Nicole, actually, I wanted to introduce everyone to my beautiful client, <laughs> Nicole. It's the Hello. first time we are meeting in person because um, you always get email readings from me. I do. I love your readings. Person reading for me. So this is really fun. Yeah. And, um, so I just wanted to know what you'd like me to focus on. You mm -hmm. did put a name in the chat. So um, that is the person you want me to focus on, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. So before I do that, I want everyone to know that the way I read is just by a name alone. I can tell you about their feelings for you, their intentions towards you, their future together. And you guys will feel like um, he's actually speaking to you, he or she. <laughs> so Nicole, this gentleman that you wanted me to read let me see what I pick up on him. Um, things, uh, you know, I'm getting that things are at a standstill between you. You feel like mm -hmm. it's not going anywhere between you. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's just too many. It feels like uh, the words I'm getting is you can't see the forest for the trees because there's too much. Um, it's too much stuff, too much emotion mm -hmm. in, in everything. So right. it's kind of like you can't see the future yet between you. Nope. <laughs> he has um, another woman's energy around him, but I feel like that's a past, like his emotional baggage from the past. And yeah, this woman was it's majorly affected him in his relationships from that point on because there's anger in that relationship that stemmed from that relationship. I don't know if you know too much about it. I do, yeah, it makes sense. And um, there was anger and um, he was not um, happy with some of the things or comments you were saying to him, um, mm -hmm. that she was saying to him, I mean, not you. Oh, okay. Um, I feel like this anger is carried on to, into your relationship. And, um, but let me see what else he's feeling. He knows that you're a good woman and that it's almost like he knows your safety zone because you would never do that but it still affects him. He jumps from his heart into his head, his head mm -hmm. into his heart. Yeah. So that relationship really affected him. And it's actually nothing that you've ever done wrong. Okay. Let me see what else he's feeling. He knows beyond a shadow of a doubt that, like I said, that you would never hurt him, but it's affected him here. You mm -hmm. know? Um, let me see what else. He has deep feelings for you, almost like he's in love with you, but his mm -hmm. fear of being crushed yeah. emotionally is stronger than his feelings for you right now. Okay. Let's do some direct channeling here. I asked him if he has a message for you. He says, I know that she won't hurt me, but I don't feel like I can ever be fully 100% present with her. Mm -hmm. I know that we have a beautiful soul connection and our connection is so soft and sweet. And I feel the gentleness of her, her spirit, you know, mm -hmm. She has a beautiful, gentle spirit. And um, she, I can see her pain. And a lot of times she camouflages her pain so I don't have to see it. 
but I can see it in your eyes. Open your eyes for a second. You've been through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> in relationships. I have. And I feel that this father-daughter connection you had as a child caused you some emotional pain. You know, like you didn't, it's like you felt emotionally that you weren't connecting enough to him. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of an abandonment issue, emotional abandonment issue that you have with your father, da father daughter connection in childhood. Hmm. You know what I mean? And so the relationship you have with your father is how you have it with other men. Yeah. You know, so you have to deal, you have to erase that because let me look at your eyes again. Um, your heart is so gentle and loving. Um, but that pain is always there. Mm -hmm. And you have a pattern of emotionally disconnecting from men. I don't know if you're aware of it when you're in mm -hmm. relationships. Uh -uh. It's like they pull back, but there's a reason, and it's because you kind of detach a little bit. Hmm. Um, and I feel like you, you probably need to work on your father daughter issue, like from childhood. Okay. But let's see what's going to happen. I see a major transformation of the situation between you. And I feel like the two of you are going to wind up um, sitting next to each other and having a very beautiful conversation with each other. And it's going to be very complimentary. And I feel that this is going to happen in a six time frame. Now, okay. My time frames are all approximate. It could be days, it could be hours, it could be weeks, it could even be months. Right. You know, but I feel like you're going to have this beautiful conversation with this, this man that you want to be with. And the two of you will wind up supporting each other in your personal growth, your healing. Mm -hmm. I feel like. This relationship is not over, but there's a lot of healing that work that needs to be done, not only for him, for you, Me too. And yeah. the connection between you. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like you have a strong soul connection. You've had past lives together. And I feel like um, in a past life also, one of you was the father and one of you was the daughter. And there was a, some pain in there and it has gone into this lifetime. And um, that's what I see, but it's actually not over. Okay. You know, that's good. <laughs> um, did you want to know anything else about any other part of your life? Uh, career. Okay. Let me see. There is a um, subject of interest for something that you're working on like i don't know do you write i i work on web development actually okay because yeah. i see you writing maybe you're making code or something yeah and i feel like i keep getting there's a subject of interest there's mm -hmm. something that you're interested in maybe getting to know more i see you working very hard and you're going to wind up um being more successful than you have been there's um two people that are going to be um instrumental in taking your success to another level within the next nine to 12 months oh good so um but that's what i'm getting for now and um